Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 23 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. On where today I realized bamboo grows really fast. Um, I'm just looking at this here uh, and ignore the large items. I was taking screenshots. Bamboo, what, what, what usage do you have for me outside of this? And obviously making scaffolding, but since we have flying, I don't know if it's like 100% necessary to have. Um, paper lanterns? That kind of seems like it looks cool. Uh, bamboo mats, you can... Uh, well, I mean, nothing really, but it doesn't bother me. It's okay. Um, anyway, uh, where today you can see I'm standing, I'm, I'm a little high. I'm, I'm higher than normal, not high in that way. I, I'm a little high as in height. Um, yeah, I built this little platform above our base. Super simple, nothing crazy fancy. Um, you can't see it from up here. Let me throttle up. You can't see from here, but down here you can see, you know, we do have a little bit of variation in the coloration of the uh, texture, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, I want to get set up with a mob farm at some point. Um, and I figure up here is not a bad spot to put it. We'll just have the mob spawning up here. Um, and yeah, let me slow this guy down. Sometimes he gets too fast. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a mob farm up here. Super simple five by five. Um, and we're going to set up a mob masher and everything and some fans that are going to blow into the mob masher and then get collected. Um, so that is all on our to-do list because last episode I said that we want to make our way into the nether, which is true. We do want to get into the nether um, and start getting into, you know, there's nothing in the nether other than fortresses. And I think bastions are in there too, um, but it is a completely empty dimension essentially. However, um, we need blaze rods, right? I was combing through our quests here and looking at the one for the witch water, which we just did. So let's go ahead and collect this reward. We got a jungle sapling. Cool. Um, and this is wanting us to get a bucket of each. I'm going somewhere with this. Don't worry. So let's get the bucket of seawater and then a regular bucket. Let's go pop down here and grab this witch water. Boop. Okay, so we got those. And if we look at this, there's no rewards for that, unfortunately, but mob summoning and changing. Hmm. Sounds interesting, right? Mob spawning and changing is a bonus from the X Nihilo mod. Mods can be transformed when doused, mainly by witch water. Um, the villagers can turn into witches, creepers, charge creepers, squids into gas, skeletons into wither skeletons. You can also use dolls to summon mobs from barrels. The dolls required give you what you need to summon them in their info when you hover your mouse over them. So, first off, what's up? Um, what is you? An empty hole without the love it deserves. Yeah, and I said, what is you? And that is not proper grammar. I apologize for that. I did not, you know, it was unintended. Um, we could get some skeleton skulls. Um, maybe. How many emeralds do we have? I mean, we should have, like, not emeralds. Let's just grab, you know, the skulls will be handy to have. We, I don't know if anything's going to need the skulls right now, but we'll just, you know, grab as many as he'll sell me and we're good to go. And then murderize him because there's no other way to get him out of here. Hey, excuse me, sir. I don't appreciate that. Get over here. Get over here. Mindless slaughter of the llamas. Honestly. I need your leather. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Those dolls. Uh, we did the slime. There are a lot of dolls in this pack. If we look at the, this is the porcelain doll, which is the framework for all of the dolls. But these dolls make a bunch of stuff. This will spawn a bee. You make this, you get a bee. You make this, you get a shulker. We have all of this stuff. We can make literally, I mean, we just got to make purple dye, but we can get a shulker now. Um, this spawns Enderman. This spawns uh, Guardians. This here, this spawns Blaze. Yeah. So we could set up this and get Blazes. Now, if I remember correctly, there is also another mod in this pack. Um, tech, maybe? Uh, resourceful Ways? I thought there was a Mob Cage thingy. The Mob Cage. That's what it's called, isn't it? Mob Cage? Mob cage, is that right? Cage? You're not it. Um, mob? Maybe I'm thinking of a different pack. 
I thought there was a mob cage in this pack. Where you, it's kind of like a mob spawner. Um, blaze rods. Recipe for you is. Um, no, nope, okay, so I guess I must be thinking of something else. Yeah, I must be thinking of something else. Um, so there's no mob cage, but what there is is the mob duplicator from Industrial Foregoing. Huh. <laughs> Couple options here because the you know, the porcelain doll, you're only going to get one blaze out of this. I and mean, we can make six, we could kill them, and then we can get more to get blaze rods. Ultimately, though, I don't think that's going to be the best route for us, um, be, mainly because it's not the fastest. The mob duplicator is going to be a fantastic route for this because it will just keep duplicating mobs depending on how much experience that you have. Um, also, soul sand is something that we're going to need to start getting sieved. Anyway... All that being said, if we need blazes, we can get them here. But I want to get up and set a regular mob farm so we can start spawning regular enemies in there. And then from there, we'll see what happens. If we go, we're going to go to the nether. We're going to test. In Enigmatica 6, you were able to use cardboard on spawners. We'll see if that's possible in this pack. Because if that's the case, we can just grab a blaze spawner and then put it into our mob farm and then get blaze rods that way. Super simple. Um, what are these little guys? These guys look cool. Forbidden and Arcanus. Souls and Dark Souls. Well, regular souls don't have a recipe. I don't know what this is. I just thought these guys look cute. Uh, yeah, anyway, so let's, let's work on getting a mob farm set up today. And then we'll go from there. So, a couple things that we're going to need. We're going to need something to kill the mobs. Mob Masher. We're going to need some mob fans. Push the mobs into the mob masher. We're going to need some dark ethereal glass. Um, we could just use regular dark glass, but I love ethereal glass because you can get in and out if you need to make changes without having to, uh, you know, break the glass and then yada, yada, yada. Um, we're going to need this rotten egg and we're going to need an absorption hopper. So let's get started. First things first, let's go ahead and get the dark ethereal glass because it's probably going to be the easiest thing for us to craft at the moment. Um, so this just going to require us to get some dark glass. We already know the recipe for this. Um, let's get some glass. I did teach the system how to make glass. So let's get like two stacks of that cooked up. And while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and get the dark ethereal glass, which is just going to require some eyes of ender. Bam, bam. Okay. It's not nearly going to be enough, but we will lay the foundations of our spawner here. And then we can use our building wand to, uh, you know, build it higher when we get to that point. I love this because you can place it below you, which is great. Uh, if you've never used dark ethereal glass or ethereal glass in general, ethereal glass is not solid to players, but it is solid to mobs or enti other entities. So we can walk through this, but mobs can't. And it also does not allow light. Which is great. Um, yeah, super cool. There's a stack of dark glass. And then we need another stack of this. Bam. And then we can get our diamond wand. And we're going to go, oh, so this is one, let's go five high. One, two, three, four. Almost there. Just need a little bit more. Uh, I need to make more Eyes of Ender, but I need to also fill this in so we can use the wand one more time. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll go up one more and then put a roof on it. Okay, so then we need more Eyes of Ender. That's you. And then you. Bam. And then we will get a... Uh, let's get some slab. Let's get like a... We have cobblestone bricks, which is what I used on the bottom. We'll just make some slabs of that. And then uh, slab it up. 
I think that'll work. What say you? What say you, comment section? Not that I'm going to be able to see you for a week, but hey, I try. If I get good suggestions, I, uh, I, I do my best to implement them. Um, so if we were to break this, it will be dark in here. But we're not going to just yet because we need to work on other things. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our sleeping bag so we can take a nap because while I was doing all of this building, moving and stuff, I fought many a phantom. And I haven't gotten any phantom membranes, so I don't even know if they don't drop or if it's just because I don't have looting on my sword or, like, I'm just not lucky. It, not lucky is probably the most likely. If you watched my Enigmatica 6 Let's Play, I did horrible when it came to getting Endermen to drop Ender Pearls, so it's it's probably me, to be honest. Okay, so what we're going to do is this bottom layer is actually not going to be dark glass. This is going to be mob fans, and it's going to push into this center section. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just break all of this. Absolutely waste, you know, 20 pieces of glass or whatever the heck this amounts out to be. Uh, so we're going to have mob fans. They're going to push, and we're going to have a mob masher here. So let's go ahead and get the mob masher going. Iron spikes can require swords. So I'm gonna need a total of what? Uh, seven, eight swords, eight iron swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's you and you and then you. So the mob masher is gonna go here, bam. I do still wanna put a torch here. Uh, can you go on top? No, because you have a UI. Um, I just do, I don't want anything to start spawning just yet. So we'll just put that there. Okay, so that is the mob masher. Now we need the mob fans. Question with the mob fans: Do they require uh, RF? That's a good. That's a good question. If I do say so myself. I mean, I asked it, but I think it's a good question. Um, let's find out. Because if so, we're gonna have some wiring to run. You do not seem to. Show area. I think that's a good area. And how did you place? You place facing away. Okay. So we need one, one, two, three, four, five, we need five, 10, 15, 19 more of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, something like that. Ah, need more stone slabs. So close. I don't even know how many, how much stone I have. Bam. Put all of the, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me there, Captain? Nope. Buddy, that is literally not how I placed you. I placed you like this. Nope. Excuse me, sir. There we go. Uh, I think all these do need a lever to activate, though, which that's going to be kind of annoying. Could set up Xnet and have Xnet do the levering for me because that's I'm pretty sure that's how you turn these on it is a lever. Um, yeah. Uh, so they do work very well, though. Oh, goodness. Okay, so levers needed to turn these on. We need to figure out a better solution for that because that's going to be very annoying. Uh, this guy's going to also need a lever to turn him on, so we're going to need to be able to access that, which we can do from down here. I just got to break that, put that there, and that will turn the mob masher on, correct? Yes, all right, he's spinning. Okay, that's cool. So we just need to figure out turning on all of these, um, which we could probably do if we lay some redstone and uh, we'll figure something out with all that. Um, but anyway, so that is the basic setup. So now what we need is actually, to be honest, to break this mob masher because we need to turn this area inside of here into dreadful dirt. In order to do so, we have to get a rotten egg. Um, let's check out our absorption hopper real quick first, which is gonna require a regular hopper. The absorption hopper is actually a pretty awesome item, and it's not just used, or it, it can be used for things other than just mob farms. Um, and you'll see what I mean by that in 
one second as I put this away and we come back out here. Okay, so let's say uh, we're gonna put this absorption hopper, um, oh, let's say we put it here, right? So this guy has a UI. I should have really expanded this platform out, but I didn't. Um, so this guy has a UI and it shows what its working area is. And you can see there, it can pick up items in this, items and experience, by the way, in this um, range, but we need to move that. We need to move it um, quite a bit, actually. Uh, so let's see, we are currently facing west, so we need to move it in the westerly direction, um, which is gonna be this way, correct? And then we need to move it up, okay? That looks pretty darn good. So then we just need to shrink it. Um, can we do that? Or is it just gonna always pick up in a seven by seven area? Uh, offset north, south, up. Uh, okay, yeah, well, it looks like we can't shrink it, but that's okay. It's in its area, so it's gonna pick up anything that is in this area. And then what this um, other UI here is, where is it going to export? So on the down, you can export fluids or items. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say on the, um, what is this? This is gonna be south, yes. South, export the items, and north, export the fluids. And it gets a little, um, you know, little little hook hookup there. So we'll export items, we can put a chest here, um, and then over here we can put a tank, and that will do the do. Mob grinding utilities, and this actually has a tank meant for experience, if I can find it. Um, a jumbo tank. This can hold all of your experience. It's a lot of room. 1,024 1, buckets can be used, or can be, uh, yeah, you understand what I'm saying, right? Right. Um, However, it requires more stuff. Um, what do you want me to make? Singularity tanks. I need four of these. I need more glass. Let's make me another two stacks of that, please. Singularity tanks. Two, three, four. And then jumbo tank. Not the Jimbo tank, the Jumbo tank. Bam. What is this other recipe? Jumbo tank to a Jumbo tank. Ah, you can reset it. Um, so if we put the Jumbo tank there, it will hold a thousand buckets of the experience that this mob generates. And then if we get a diamond chest, we'll have all of the items can output into this diamond chest. Bam. So that's pretty simple. That's like the basics of the mob farm. Now, the mob crusher itself can get upgrades. I'm sorry, the mob masher, mob grinding utilities. This can get upgrades, right? So, for example, the fans can be upgraded to have higher width. Um, the absorption radius can be increased for your, uh, that other thing that we just made. The absorption hopper, that's what that's called. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, there's a beheading upgrade. So if you were trying to get ender wither skeleton skull heads, um, you can have it catch things on fire. So if you were trying to make like, you know, put cows in here, you could get steak automatically produced. You got looting, you've got sharpness to make it do even more damage and then smite. Sharpness, maybe something that we want to get. Um, we can get 10 of these. What I would want to do before I do that, though, is teach the system how to make iron swords because I do not feel like sitting there and clicking all of those iron swords. So if we come down here and we say swords, uh, recipe of you is that, and at mob, let's get the sharpness upgrade, uh, mainly because uh, it is a little slow in its killing. It's, it basically does iron sword level damage to the mobs, but you can add sharpness to it, so. Um, yeah, let's get the 10 of those. Uh, missing sticks? Did I never teach the system how to make sticks? I guess not. Um, recipe. What? Flexible one. What? Tool rod. I don't understand. 
You're just supposed to be a stick, buddy. Just, just be a stick. Just be a normal stick for me. Oh, two logs make 16 sticks. We can do that. Let's use our oak logs because we, uh, we have those on auto craft if needed. Oh, I'm out of patterns. Not anymore. Let's go ahead and craft like 64 of those, by the way. Um, so yeah, there's sticks, so we can do that. And then the mob crusher, we can make 10 of these upgrades. And then we're going to let those just cook. Because we need to, first off, take a nap. Second, get the uh, egg that we need to make the dirt that we need. So yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and do this, put this away, bam, and we'll grab those upgrades just to have them on hand for when we need them. So we need to make a chicken with an egg. In order to do so, we need to make, or we need to make this rotten egg, right? The recipe for this is going to be, we need to make this um, cursed chicken feed, okay? The recipe for this is pretty simple. We need a fluid XP bucket. Uh, which makes it slightly not as simple because we need to get some experience in order to make experience. Um, so this may be something we have to do in between episodes. I also need a spider eye. I have everything else. But the spider eye and the liquid XP. Huh. Huh. Okay. Didn't think to look into this before I uh, went and started making this. Uh, what we could do is, huh, hmm, creates a rotten egg, creates a golden egg. Yeah, we need experience. That is an issue. Where are we, how do we get experience? Like, what can we do to take, maybe, can we take our 27 levels? Um, and turn it into experience. That'd be sweet. What is this? Nope. XP drain. Solidifies liquid XP. Um, oh, we're also going to want one of these so that we don't have enders getting created. Yeah, well, we're going to have to figure out, um, we're going to have to set this up essentially to be um, a regular mob farm and then get regular mob spawns in here. Where is this? And then I'll just have to let that run until we can get four buckets of experience. All right, well, that's that. This is an ender inhibitor. Um, it's pretty simple to make, but it stops endermen from being able to teleport in its ring, in its area. I don't know what its range is, but... Uh, we may be able to put one on like each side just to be safe. Maybe we should do that. Uh, attached to any side of solid blocks, uh, up to eight blocks away. Yeah. I don't feel like doing the math to see exactly how many blocks away we are for everything. So let's just, uh, you know, let's just place them. Nope. Well, I mean, that would theoretically work, but. I really should expand this area too, so I can actually walk around it. I will probably be doing that in between episodes here too. Um, okay, so we need to just go ahead and turn this thing on and let normal mobs spawn and try and get some experience in there. So if we turn this on and then go away, normal mobs will spawn in here. Also be careful because that will happen. <laughs> I was literally just saying be careful because you're going to freaking die and then I ran into it. Yeah, it's sharpness 10 and I have absolutely no armor. Um, I also have no way to get into this. Um, I don't have any way to get up there. Please don't fall. You son of a gun, you did. Please don't fall. Okay. There. Okay. Give me my stuff back. You jerk. Uh, yeah. By the way, be careful. If you ever, you, uh, you know, we're wondering. You will die. 
yeah, so don't 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 fly into here by accident while all these are pushing and run into your mom masher because it will kill you. Uh, as you just saw, it is not it is not friendly to players, and you can't turn that off. You cannot um, stop that from killing you. So just just something to keep in mind there. You know, um, be careful. Anyway, uh, so we need to take those eggs out of there. Uh, we need to make this. What is going on? Okay. Inventory is all messed up. I wish this was the uh, grave mod that retained your inventory. So in its exact positions. So that way you don't have to, uh, you know, do that every time. I need to get all these fans turning on. So I need to hook up some sort of, uh, you know, I'm probably going to go with Xnet. If you've never seen Xnet before, it is a fantastic mod. Um at Xnet, um, it, well, let's just go over it. Let's just, let's just do it really quick. Uh, we need blue dye. Just make a stack of that. We have the lapis. So we need a controller. It's gonna require us to make a couple things. I need to teach the system how to make all these things too. Ran out of sticks again. Son of a gun with the freaking sticks. But that's that. Um, I think I needed two repeaters and a comparator. And that'll make us a controller. And then we're going to need connectors. I generally use the red connectors. You can use any color though. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, so this just requires a chest and then all these dyes, which uh, we need red dye. So we have, we need to get dye essence made. Um, but right now we have poppies. And we have quite a bit of poppies, if I remember correctly. Uh, we could just use, uh, honestly, we could have used blue because that uses blue dyes instead of red, but whatever. Uh, we'll use red for now. Um, we're going to need a lot of connectors, so I'll do it in between episodes. But just to, just to sh demonstrate how this works. Uh, so we take our controller and our connector that we have, um, and we're going to place the controller down. What direction it faces doesn't really matter, but this will get fixed. And, oh, oh, this connector doesn't want to connect to the mob fan. Well, that is just fantastic. All right, Xnet is out of the question. So then next, what we're going to be doing is getting rid of some of these mob fans. I should have just done this in the first place, but uh, I forgot that we had the distance, the height and the width upgrades. Distance is fine. Height is fine. What we need is width, uh, and we just need it to be a plus three. So we just need to make three of these, uh, which just requires feathers. Feathers may be an issue, though. Granted, we do have chickens, but I don't think any of them have been dropping any feathers. You are a tier two seed. And you need soul jars of chickens. You need eight chickens in each jar. Yeah, y'all are uh, y'all are driving me nuts with all your little requirements. I have to put a freaking lever on each one of you. All right. Anyway, I'll figure something out in between episodes. I'm probably going to expand this platform out, and then uh, we will go from there and see exactly um, what we need to do to continue, and then start getting mob spawning so we can get experience, so we can get more mob spawning, so then we can start working on going into the Nether. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.